Welcome back to Geiselsberg for episode 11, with me, Mr. Sealy P. Before I return the uh, Klingon Bird of Prey Swadro, I thought I'd come over to field one and two, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna windrow it all up. Probably windrow loads of them together to get maybe four or five really big windrows. Um, that's the plan. Anyway, and then I'll, I'll come up with the, probably the square baler at some point and bail them. And once that's done, I'll probably put the bales to one side by the side of this field because I really haven't got that much space to store them anywhere else at the moment. But um, I think that's yeah, that's the best idea. I think. Um, I have had a message from uh, Jeremy, whose grandfather owns these fields, who's been ill, and that's why we're doing it. Jeremy managed to get us the uh, Lexian because he works for class, and that's what he does for a living. Um, and his grandfather is considering not farming anymore. So the message I had was, would we, would I consider continuing this partnership with Jeremy, whereby I work on the fields for them, um, it's their land, their property, um, and we kind of share the profits type thing. Um, so potentially, this field one and two, he did say his grandfather owns field four as well. I'm not quite sure whereabouts that is in relation to these two. But um, yeah, um, potentially then we've got some field space, um, but that's all in kind of we're in negotiations at the moment. So that's kind of the thing. So when this is done, I'm heading off for some dinner. And then off to bed, I think. So, it's a misty-ish morning. It's going to be cloudy today according to weather forecast. 28 minutes past 8. And we are ploughing out the gap between two fields. But not the two fields I said I was going to plough the gap out. If you look up in the top right hand corner we have not lost any money but I have bought field 37 so we now own field 39 field 38 in the middle field 37 I've ploughed out the gap between 39 and 38 I'm now doing the gap between 38 and 37 so we've got a nice big field here now this is another one that's going to have something a little bit different done to it and this is a job taken on by the boss. Um, so it's kind of a, a contract, but not a third party one. This comes directly from the boss man himself. And this is going to be an interesting one. Because we've got to do organic rye and organic wheat. I think I'm going to do the rye first. And we need 60,000 litres. But... Here's the thing, and I shudder to even think about it, but <laughs> it is what it is. It's kind of a, a vegan, I know it sounds weird. Believe me. Anyway, so the boss had an offer from a Aquis, I think it is, Department of Al Natura, a strictly ecological nutrition and goods brand for their recently established trend following, you've guessed it, vegan bakery. They want to introduce a vegan crafted dark bread consisting of 60% rye and 40% wheat. So we're kind of a test farm for that process. So they want 60,000 litres of rye and 40,000 litres of wheat to get that mix. But as they are a biological brand, no artificial fertilisers or herbicides are allowed to be used. And because they're vegan as well, we can't use slurry or manure because it comes from animals. So... The question is then, what do you do? Well, we can use digestate, provided the digestate comes from a plant-based source. So if we took a load of grass, straw, hay, something like that, to the biogas plant, put it in through the digesters and got digestate, we could use that because that's vegan friendly. Or we could use a cover crop. But we're thinking of using grass because we can do this a double situation here we can grass this cut the grass and use it which will give us a fertilizing state we could use the Juskin Scaraflex which is a kind of weeder but it will also give you that fertilizing state and then if we then cultivate that in I know it's a bit of sort of double handling but here's the kicker with this 
for the additional efforts and the longer time for growth, they are willing to pay 50% over the current standard crop price at delivery. So that's, that's worth the extra work, isn't it? I think. <laughs> I think. So this field's going to need a bit of prep. So are the other fields. Um, I did bring over the fertilizer. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I can take this with me. Let's drop this off and put it on the front. Um, yeah, it's a bit of an odd one. Now, um, so we bought this field. What else did we do? Oh, I swapped out the uh, water tanker. Um, so we've got an Aquatrans now at the pig farm. Um, and we have purchased a piece of equipment which we're going to collect later on. We're going to get a trailer to go and pick it up. I did talk about that in the last episode. Now, um, we have cleared, as you can see, all the straw has gone off the fields. We haven't quite got 250,000 litres of hay, but not far off. We have filled the hay barn, hay loft, with straw. So we've got 250,000 litres of straw, but there is still a load of straw um, over on field one and two, which I haven't been able to collect. I just ran out of storage space. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put it. Um, yeah, I could bale it, but I've got a load of bales already, although I do have a contract for 100 bales, 100 straw bales, but I did also have a contract with Creighton Farms for loose straw, which I'm going to explain in a minute. I'm going to head to the store, I'm going to see you there in a moment, and I'm going to explain a couple of things and what we're going to do next, I think. It's a lovely morning. Makes a change for all the work I did in the pitch black last night. So we're just going to pull into the store yard. Um, now, because I had, I've got this surplus of straw now, <laughs> which I'm not quite sure what to do with, um, Craydon Farms asked um, for straw, which is absolutely fine. Um, and C, I'm trying to get this right, C Watieso Gaming for Fun wanted 150,000 litres of hay, which we can absolutely provide now. We've got that all in storage. So this is loose. I've got 45,000 litres of loose straw in here and I've got 28,000 litres because Craydon Farms just asked for whatever we had spare. So we've got a load spare, let's be honest. We've got absolutely tons spare. Um, so they said, Craydon Farms, I own a small farm and recently we had our straw barn burnt down. Unfortunately this happened just after harvest so we lost our entire inventory of straw and hay. We are desperate as our animals will suffer. Um, without straw for bedding. Please can you help us with as much straw as you can spare? They said they can supply a trailer, but I went out and collected it in these two. It just kind of made more sense to do that. So these two are going to be winging their way to Craydon Farms. We'll just jump up on here. I'm not not making it up. Look, we have got straw in both of these off of fields one and two. So that's going to be heading off to Craydon Farms. And then uh, see what TSO gaming for fun. Um, is currently working on Lone Oak Farm and they're looking to expand their farm with some cow husbandry. However, the seasons have been unkind and are very wet, meaning they've had no joy getting any grass or uh, grass to dry and make hay. They recently lost the entire summer's grass mowing efforts when a leaky shed roof caused the entire stack of grass bales to rot. They would very, be very interested in getting our assistance. Um, if you could supply me with 150,000 litres of hay, either loose or in bales, I'd be very happy this is also a kicker to offer you 300,000 litres of their very own produced on farm pig food which I can use with my animal husbandry that is fantastic 300,000 that's going to keep us going for ages which brings me on to this this was payment for the rye bales contract I did for Fieldworks LLC they offered us 25,000 litres of pig food which I happily accepted but it's been delivered here in this which means I've now got to get this to the pig farm which could be a bit of a nuisance I have to work out how to do that we have got the oh no that's not going to work is it there's actually the IT runner that will do this anyway right so those are the things we're going to be getting on with I need to seed field um, 45 down at the farm so I'm going to take this down, we'll sort out getting that silo taken over to the pig farm. Then we'll get the Craydon Farms uh, straw will go and then I'll need to get a trailer down to the main farm to start shipping 150,000 litres off to Lone Oak for, I think it's Seawatty, it could be Quatty. Sorry, 
Um, yeah, gaming for fun. Can I get around there without knocking the sign over? I seem to be knocking a lot of signs over recently. So anyway, um, that's where we're at. That's where we stand. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I needed to tell you before we move on with today's work. Another day dawns and more to do. I think it's going to be a lot of planting going on today. Actually, we could, we could do the larger planter, really, or the second one. So I can be planting field 45 and also doing... Out, I don't want to call it top field now. 39, 38 and 37. Unless I just refer to it as 39, 38 and 37, I suppose. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Right, I've decided to go with rye on this one again. I do have a rye contract, I do have another barley contract, I've got a corn one which is a little bit more complicated. The problem is with my barley contract it needs to be organic and I've already put fertiliser down so I can't do it, but my rye contract doesn't stipulate. That's the only downside with the cedar. It's cheap and I think it's fantastic to get us going but we may well need to invest in something else at some point because it's too wide. Like we've got these posts and stuff here and I know we're okay collision wise but you know what I mean so uh, yeah, we'll sort that out so this is, a, this is our big widened field enlarged field I don't know how you want to call it let's turn it on, drop it down and let's get some rye into this It's going to take a little while, but now I've squared off certain bits, I'll be able to get a work going a lot earlier, which means I can crack on with some other jobs. I think we've got... Um, C. Petit um, was the guy, uh, the company whose lorry tipped over, and we helped them. Um, and they helped us with the delivery of manure. We've also got KJ Wiggums. KJ Wiggums, generally speaking, we kind of use more for haulage of machinery and equipment and that kind of stuff. So between the two of them, we've got kind of haulage and stuff covered. So I'm thinking it might be easier for us to get one of those guys to come in with a larger trailer to deliver the hay for CWAT here. So I think might be a better way. I'm just it's just off the top of me. Ah that was it. Oh, I've just remembered. That's annoying. The log, well, you'll be able to see it now. The log I talked about in the last episode that I missed. You can see it just jutting out of the ground. Ah, that needs removing. Have I missed that as well? Cray, I'm going to have a little bit of grass growing now. Oh well. So yeah, that stump's got to go. I have to get something can grind that out, I think. Oh, I have a plan. No, I know what I can do. Which involves collecting the next piece of equipment. Yes, yeah, so we've been very lucky um, that locally we talked about... <coughs> well, I talked about getting a front loader for this tractor to help around the farm but locally one of our neighbours has got an old Fergie and when I say an old Fergie I don't mean a tractor a loader so we can collect that and I'm just thinking because that's technically a skid steer loader we could possibly lease a stump grinder and then bring it down here and grind the stump out we could do that comes with a couple of attachments you may have noticed up at the store there was a set of bale forks on the floor we kind of we bought those in preparation for collecting the uh, new piece of machinery so we're going to do that in a bit as well we'll go and collect that that's from up in the town but it's sometimes it's not even nine o'clock yet so i'm not going to wake him up yet I'm going to do a field at some point with sunflowers in and there's a reason for that as well we've got a contract well I'm going to leave it when we come closer to that we've got an interesting contract regarding sunflower 
um, which I'm kind of looking forward to doing. Like I said before, the contracts we've had come in, some really, really interesting ones, something a little bit different than just your usual, you know, don't get me wrong, the local job sheets are pretty cool and there's all sorts of jobs for local farmers that need doing, and that's all wonderful. I don't want to drop down that. No, that doesn't want to see for some reason, that bit on the edge. That's weird. Um, and that's fantastic, you know. But there is usually just a single, can you do this, can you do that. At least with these contracts coming in, we've got, there's a little bit more to it, you know, a bit of depth, a bit of, um, makes it a little bit more enjoying. Enjoying? Makes me enjoy them more. <laughs> Enjoyful? No, that's not a word either. Horses are great, all exercised. Big Papa C was, um, it was gutted to see his two horses go, but he said in his video that he was happy we were going to be training them and looking after them, which is nice. He did ask me if, when I went to collect them if I wanted to pop in, because he's, he's out in Dreisenhof at the moment, which isn't too far. Um, would I pop in for a cup of coffee and some breakfast? But we had a lot to get done. He understood. But he has offered me a, a Tennessee country boy's breakfast. He did message me and tell me what that entails. <whistles> You're going to have to do a lot of work on the farm for that to be okay, because that's an artery clogger. But sounds absolutely delicious. Anyway, I'm going to get on with this. And then we'll go on and sort out the next job.
We're up at the store and the wheat for Craydon Farms has gone. I've just reorganised the trailers. Or the trailer backs, we need to sort that out as well. Uh, yeah. Just bought a new trailer. We can use this for converted bales. We're going to use it for loading today. There's a double axle and there's a triple axle version. So I can't remember if I mentioned it or not. When I came back from FarmCon, um, I met one of the guys that modded this. We had a chat for ages about modding and all sorts of stuff. This and the other one, the double axle. Um, this is the F105. Hang on, which one is it? F28. Why does it say 105? No idea. And um, I can't remember the, name, the number of the other one. I had it, but it's not installed anymore. Okay, that's weird. Anyway, regardless of that, we need to go and collect our vehicle. Just want to check to make sure that will work. Everything is as it should be. I hope that's going to be the right size. Let's we'll see what we straps. We do have straps as well. That's fantastic. We can use this for bales and logs as well. That's going to be... That will take eight. That'll take eight metre logs. So we could do a little bit of logging without getting a logging trailer to start off with. That was only about 5,000 something. So uh, not too bad. Right. It's not far actually. It's right in the, in the village. We're going. I'll probably hold up the traffic. They're not going to like that too much, are they? Oh, see, you've got a road sign on the floor. I don't even remember hitting that one. Obviously did. There we go, just here. Uh, okay, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> How are we going to get in here without someone driving into us? Traffic's mad. Right, let's get beacons on. Now, I have got my Satex side panel plugged into my PlayStation, so what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to put... There we go. It's about a four ways on as well. Just so people are aware that we're going to do something idiotic. Um, I'm really not too sure. Let's see how I'm going to do this. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm working here, I'm working. Don't pull up too close behind me. I've got to back this in. No. What I'll probably do, if I back that in. And oh blimey. let's not a lot of room. Do that. Let's open it up. Then I'll disconnect and get out of the way. That's the best bet. We pull up over here. Beacons off. Flashes off. Oh, yes. Massey Ferguson 356 loader. And we get the bucket and we get pallet forks with it. We've already paid for it. That's already come off our. We're just going to come and collect it now. Um, that's, that's why I got a bail spike for it as well. But I think what we'll do is. Mm, yeah, we do need a. I'm just trying to think if we can get all this equipment on the trailer. Um, that's what we'll do. Put, put the forks on first. We've got to lift ourselves a lot of room here, have we? Without destroying this guy's yard. Which I really don't want to do. No, we really haven't given ourselves any room. <laughs> Try this bigger than I thought. Can we move forward a little bit? Not knock over his watering can either. Blimey. It's amazing to think as well. How many times have we driven past here? Not noticed it. Funny old world, isn't it? Uh <laughs> knock over his kid's swing set, smack into his bins. going to cost us more than the loader if we have to repair everything, isn't it? Can I get up onto that? Yeah, we'll 
get up on there. Although, yeah, if I put the forks up, yeah, we can do this. We can do this. Of course we can. <laughs> it's one of those hold my pint moments. This won't be a problem. Just watch this. And that's generally where it all goes horribly wrong at that point. And people end up going to hospital. A&E and stitches, plaster, that kind of thing. You know how it is. Right, to the bucket. I'll probably have to put the lights on. Let's raise that up out of the way. Give ourselves a bit more space. He couldn't have lived somewhere else, could he? He couldn't have lived somewhere with a big driveway or out in the countryside. Had to be here. I'm assuming all this equipment's just going to go all over the place, but... Whoops, there we go. There goes his can. Centre of gravity, just tip that forward a little bit. Bring that down to about there. Don't think straps are going to work, are they? Pretty sure they're not, but we can try. Mm. There's a lot of straps, aren't there? Are we sliding? Why don't we get close to it? Ooh. Right. What we'll do, turn the engine off, we'll put the beacon on. Right, we got there. We got through the end. Now to stop traffic again. Beacon's on, flash is on. Just don't want a cement lorry coming now. Why is it? This is to say every single time I've got to do something. It's just, it's like... It's like Piccadilly Circus, come on. Whoa, 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 easy tiger. Yeah, okay, whatever. Let's fold that back up. Let's back in a little bit, I think. Nice, we've got a new loader, yes, if we can ever get out of here, of course. Um, right, now, I'm just trying to think. I need this down at the main farm for the time being. We may well switch over the scorpion and this hanger. I'm going to go that way, aren't I? Don't think I'm going to be able to swing around that way. I'm going to get out. There goes another road sign. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, what we'll do, let's swing it in here. So I'm thinking what we might do is, longer term, it will be up here, because this will hook up to, like I say, I bought the Aquatrans, I swapped out the other trailer for an Aquatrans, then that frees up the Scorpion King for more work all over the place. But for the time being, I'm going to take it down to the main farm, because I want a stump grinder. Because I've got to get rid of that stump. We can always bring it back up here, we own the trailer. But I suppose what I could do is drop off the bucket and the forks here, yeah, we'll do that. You don't need to seal this now. I'm going to go... I'll whiz back to the store in a minute. But what we'll do is we'll drop off the bucket. And I could have just driven up the road, couldn't I? That would have been far easier. That's what happens when you don't think it through. Think it through, Mr. CDP, in the future, please. Just take that. I love the way the little ramps flip up. I mean, it's, it's very realistic. It's incredibly well made. Oh, these traps. Anyway, enough of this. I've got work to do. This tomfoolery.
no time like the present to put this to work. Actually, I don't have the beacons on now on my, fa on my farm. <coughs> and we got um, stopped off at the store, grabbed a paladin stump grinder. Um, so we get the, the stump gone because I can't finish up planting that field. Um, plus, I did bring over the plough because <laughs> I just could not. I could not leave that little patch of grass there unploughed, so we have ploughed it. Um, that's just that's just the way it is. This didn't actually survive particularly well. The straps that haven't. I think they're going to work with bales and stuff like that, but they have absolutely no effect whatsoever. I know people always offer the solution of a log that will often work. For example, if I got a small log and placed a log on top of here and then put the straps on the strap will go over the log and technically it's holding the log down and in doing that it holds the vehicle down you can do that there's all sorts of options but in all honesty it's not the end of the world if it moves about a little bit that's why i got the one with sides rather than the trailer with just flat back because i didn't want it sliding off the edge let's get this stump gone shall we I mean, it seems excessive having a piece of machinery that is going to be used around the pig farm. It might be used a bit around here. But like I said, this only cost marginally more, I mean, literally marginally more, than buying a set of front loader forks. This entire wheel loader. That's all it took. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay, well, at least I can continue. So I don't know whether I'm going to leave this down here or take it up to the pig farm. Maybe the pig farm, I think, and then, like I say, that, that frees up the scorpion. We can use the, the class scorpion then for all sorts of stuff. So the uh, stump grinder, the stump grinder was only a couple of hundred, I think, to lease. It wasn't a huge amount. Job done. Days. Turn the beacon off. Let's put that away. Oh, left the lights on. Let's finish this and then I can get the cedar over to the, our new field. Fields. Our multi field. That's what we call it for the time being. Let's just call it the multi field. Um, and I'm going to plant grass for our interesting, if slightly peculiar, vegan contract. Got just about enough seed left in this, but I'm going to have to refill. That's all it took, just that little bit, just to get rid of that little bit that had the tuft of grass and get rid of the stump. And that's filled 45. Planted, seeded. Those trees need to go. I need to expand this field even further. Probably those two, but then they've still got the log pile there, so even if I get rid of these two trees here, I can't do anything with the log pile. Right, okay, that's that done. Uh, up to field, the multi field, and we can get the seeding done. I've got a little bit of seed left down here, but I'm probably going to have to buy some more. We'll get the wheel loader, the, sorry, the skid steer loader, the new massive Ferguson taken up to the pig farm, and we need to move that silo. We do. But it also doesn't mean that now, uh, thank you KJ Wiggums as well, by the way, proving the point, they don't just haul vehicles, they will do crops and stuff as well. Um, we have now got 300,000 litres of pig food coming. So I'm, I have an idea for that. Hmm. Yes, it's always bad when I have a plan forming in my head. <laughs> it normally means loads of extra work for me, but... I don't mind. I love it. That's the whole point of doing this, isn't it? When you enjoy playing, enjoy, you know, the, enjoy the farming, enjoy the game. It doesn't matter because it's just it's enjoyable. Right, let's go all the way back up now. Ah, not over the bloody oh, oh my joy! Just drove the tractor over there, didn't I? I suppose it's my field. Don't want light with it. Oh, 
I seem to spend a lot of my time up here at the store, don't I? Uh, right, for doing our multi-field, we've decided we're going to lease the Lemkin Solitaire 12. It's a 12 metre, so it's a little bit wider, a little bit. It's double the size of the seed that we've got already. Plus, it means we haven't got to drag the other thing all the way up. And actually folded, it's even probably narrower than the, <laughs> than the one we've got already. Um, I am going to sort out getting the IT runner silo transport so we can take that silo over to the pig farm but I want to get the seeding off and running first but we do need some more seeds because we've run out um, what's going on here oh I'm at the repair point not the store on that's absolutely fantastic actually you know what I'm gonna do it from a tablet so we need uh, pallets and let's go with oh no we see don't we 1890 that's about the same isn't it a little bit better isn't it I'm thinking the fertilizer but how much is that for? 2,100 litres. Just thinking how much we're going to need for that field. Mind you, whatever we've got spare, we'll just unload. So we'll buy a couple of those. Because we're always going to use seed. Doesn't really matter, does it? And to be fair, leasing this to do the multi-field, because the contract long term is going to pay out really nicely. A little bit of investment at the start. Now this is interesting because I got clobbered doing some videos recently people having a go at me saying you need to open covers to do this you know and this is the problem some things you don't some things you do because technically yeah this has got a cover and it should be open some will some won't some do some don't it and there are so many now including mods as well I'm trying to remember which ones do which ones don't and the same with fertilizer spreaders fertilizer sprayers some will fill some won't some need to be open some don't it, you know Every manufacturer seems to have its own quirks. Right, that should probably do us. If we need some more, we can... We can always come back and get some more. Note to self, don't drive into own sin track. I think we are probably going to swap that out at some point. It was It's kind of a trial. We were going to do it on a kind of... I, I do like it. I like the horsepower. I like the manoeuvrability. Still not raving about the three-point link thing. I know you can switch loads of different things on and off, and it does make it quite useful. But really, you've got a tractor with three-point link front and rear. There are plenty of attachments and bits of equipment that... There are road signs everywhere <laughs> on the floor. Um, yeah, that you, you know, you can get various bits of equipment that will do the same thing. Plus, what I am finding, it's incredibly thirsty on the fuel repair costs like the two three point links i'm having to repair those so often whereas that just comes part of a normal tractor so i'm a little bit i don't know it's just it's all things you need to think about don't you the ongoing running costs of a vehicle so yeah maybe we'll go something a little bit bigger we have got some good deals offered on some class machinery from the local class dealership i've been offered all sorts of stuff so I'll speak to the boss, we'll see what he thinks, and maybe we'll upgrade at some point, but we haven't got the money to do that yet. Right, let's turn that on. Let's drop that down. Ah, oh, This is not a direct drill. That's why I was going to use the other one. Why did that not even dawn on me? So in the time I've saved, or will save, in having a 12 metre cedar, I've now got to cultivate first. Whereas I could have just come up with the John Deere and just absolutely flown through it. Right. Uh, you know what I'll do. Let's drop that off there. I'm going to whiz and get the cultivator. While this is going to get the cultivator, let's sort out getting the... Whoa. Where am I going? Let's sort out getting the uh, that pig food silo delivered. Okay, IT runner for silos. This is the one that's got the much, much longer arm so it can reach up to the top of the silo. I did a little bit of, um, what's the best way of putting it? Um, 
gentle manipulation of the um, silo to get it around the way we wanted it. Nothing was damaged, bent or broken in the process, I promise. Now the interesting thing this is going to be, how, how are we going to get it along the road? <laughs> mm. Okay. It's not going to like it too much, I don't think. So let's back the right up and attach it. We are now swinging and the back axle is off the ground. That's interesting. So let's pull that back down. Actually, it shouldn't be too bad. Spent a lot of time with our beacons on in this episode, aren't we? Right, there's no power cables that I'm aware of either. I'm wondering whether going across the fields might be a better way of doing this, but I think now we'll go the roadway. As long as we can get out of here, and we've got a bit of turning room here, I think I've already taken the signpost down, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Whoa. It's not liking that at all. Now I'm going to try and put this up over the top of the um, the actual intake for the feed area, and I reckon it's going to, it's going to take all 25,000 litres, no problem at all, I think. But then, like I say, we've got a load more coming, <coughs> so that won't be a problem. Or I could just put it to the side and then just gradually put it in, but I might as well if I can put it right in front of the uh, shoot. It should be okay. Right, nothing coming. Brilliant. Let's swing out this side onto the grass a bit. And then get in there. I do appreciate this, Dave. It's absolutely fantastic. Ah, oh, right. First things first. Let's move the scorpion out of the way. So, if we can swing this round yeah, directly over it, we should be alright. That's what it's supposed to do. This might be a bit of an issue though. This does not like turning. Syntrax's really struggling with this. Can't seem to get any traction. Right, let's try and get this up right, I think. And then we'll worry about the rest in a minute. Uh, so, let's do that. Oh, it's taken already. That's going to disappear really quickly. Right, let's see if we can get that over the actual... There we go. And then drop that off. Like so. Okay, well that's uh it's working. Let's now check out our feed situation for the pigs. That's all going up. Whether it will get into the green or not, I don't know. But that said, we have now got, according to this, 20, 40, 50, 60, 76. So we've got 26 pigs we need to uh, sell, we need to get rid of. So that'll be another 26. I'm trying to think. I've got, like, so I've got a few pig contracts. I've got the ongoing one for Farmer Buttons and uh, Farmer Pierce to supply Big Popper C. So 
Might be another 26 towards theirs, but I have another one for 75 pigs as well. So I need to decide how I'm going to do that. But anyway, right, that's going to carry on unloading. Well, that wasn't too bad. That worked out all right. Um, the IT runner can go back then. Don't need that. And I'm pretty sure once that empties, it will disappear, I think. Well, that's another job done anyway. Now let's go to that field, finish it off cultivating, and then we'll get the grass on the ground. I'm interested to see, interested to see, when the grass has grown, if cutting it and then using the Scaraflex is going to do what we need it to. I, mean, I suppose what I could do, if I, if I mow it, I could put the grass into the biogas. I don't know, again, we'll have a think. Right. Right then, let's try this again. Change of machinery, you might just be able to see right off in the distance, if it's doing it properly. The uh, fence has got the cultivator on the back and it's cultivating the field. So we are now actually going to get the seed in the ground. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. And this should now seed. There we go. Sorted. Right. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one, this. I mean, I've done, like, organic contracts for people before where you can't use chemical fertilisers and that kind of stuff, and that's all well and good. But you're normally right with slurry manure, digestate. I suppose the whole vegan thing, they're very anti-animals being used full stop, I guess. That's kind of the reason behind it, but, yeah, something a little bit different. This is going to take a while. I'm glad we've got a big field now. We do need a kind of a second big field because the other part of this contract requires 40,000 litres of wheat and I just don't have the field space at the moment. What is interesting on here as well, around this area, poplar fields. Don't often get that. I do have a contract for some poplar bales as well mixed in with some other bits and bobs. But that's that field's about 80, 90 grand I think. I suppose we could buy it, but then we'll leave us with absolutely no walking around money. You know how it is. Mine that tree. Lift it up. And swing around. I'll try and get myself a bit of a... Uh, some straight bits so I can set a worker off on this as well in a minute, but... Actually, to be fair, I might just carry on and do it myself, I think. Well, um, we have come to the end of another episode. I think they go by so quickly. I may don't know whether they do for you or not, but they do for me when I'm recording. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always... Thanks for watching.